Hi, I'm Andrea Kolber. Welcome to my kitchen. We're here today to do some gluten-free cooking. I've been gluten-free for about six months, so I've come up with two breadcrumb styles that I want to share with you right now. The first is cracker crumbs. Feel free to experiment with different flavors if you like. I find the plain ones work best for my recipes. These crackers actually come in a little silver bag. And when you end up with a final product, you get about a half a cup of breadcrumbs. So let me show you how to get there. Take the bag, open it a little at the top, grab a spoon and whack them. Crackers are whacked. What you're gonna do is put them in a blender. I really like to use my magic bullet. Most of the time I'm only cooking for two, but if you're cooking for three, four, six people, feel free to double or triple the recipe, pull out the big blender, it'll be worth it. And I find I only need to blitz it for about 30 seconds to a minute in the magic bullet. And you end up with this really nice, fine red crumb, which is great to use in a variety of recipes. The second kind of breadcrumbs that I find I use a lot are real bread breadcrumbs. You start off with plain white gluten-free bread. So again, find one that you really like the flavor of, maybe something that you're already eating is toast. It'll make a really good breadcrumb alternative for you. Take the plain bread and put it in the toaster oven. Again, if you're doubling or tripling this recipe, put it on a cookie sheet, put it in your oven. Either way, set the oven or toaster oven to 300 degrees. It'll take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to get it a nice golden brown. What you might want to do is flip it halfway at about the seven or eight minute mark so it gets evenly browned on both sides. What you end up with are these really nice golden brown dried out pieces. And the reason why you want to bake this and not toast it, because toasting it really only deals with the exterior and the inside is still kind of gummy. Take your knife, chop this into some manageable pieces, pop them into your blender or your magic bullet, blitz again for 30 seconds to a minute until you get a nice, fine, consistent breadcrumb. So those are my breadcrumbs two ways, cracker crumbs and the more traditional breadcrumbs. So if you stay tuned, I'm going to show you some things that you can make using both kinds of crumbs. Thanks for coming. We'll see you again soon.